Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN. This is Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. So one of the most frequent questions we're getting these days is, hey, I'm in the market for a new smartphone. A lot of our customers are a little bit older. And uh, it's their first, believe it or not, first foray into the smartphone uh, genre. So a lot of these people still coming from flip phones, which I still can't believe they still support these things. But anyway, they're asking, well, what should I get? And it's a difficult question to answer. My first smartphone, well, the first smartphone out was the iPhone. And uh, it had everything I was looking for. It finally had a phone that had a camera, an Internet browser, and a uh, movie recorder all in one. So, I mean, that was just a godsend to me when I got my first smartphone. But a lot of new phones and devices and carriers and manufacturers have come on the market since then. We were talking 2007. It's now 2015. We're eight years. It's, uh, I guess the smartphone industry is now it's in its adolescence. Still got a long way to go. Smartphones, wearables, all this other Google Glass, all this other craziness is completely unnecessary and still in its infancy. So people are still looking for smartphones. So they ask me, well, what should you get? Well, my question back to them is, well, what do you want to do with it? And a lot of people don't know how to answer that question. So I have to go into this whole spiel about what a smartphone can do. Well, now it's going to become your primary camera. It's going to become your uh, your phone, obviously. So it really depends what you want to do. With it. Now, if you're a photographer and you like to snap a lot of pictures and take a lot of video, you can do that. And you can do that with amazing, it's actually quite surprising quality on these devices. Now more than ever. And they're getting better all the time. So, um if you like to take a lot of pictures, then that will impact the decision on your phone quite dramatically, and here's why. Um, the two big phones on the market right now, let's talk about the two higher end, the iPhone 6 and the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Those are the two biggies right now. Um, I personally, I have an iPhone 5. Uh, S and I also have a Samsung Galaxy Note 3 so my stuff's a little bit older but I'll tell you why I have what I have uh, the iPhone 6 supposedly has much better optics than any phone on the market right now although I have not compared them personally there are many websites who have and uh, a lot of people a lot of people who are against the iPhone say that the Samsung Galaxy Note has equally if not better optics on their camera but I haven't verified that yet because uh, they haven't sent me one yet. But send it to me, and we'll talk about that. You hearing me, Samsung? So um, the iPhone has a really, really neat uh, set, set of optics in it now. So they've got all kinds of deep uh, focusing and fast autofocus and a really, really good sensor from what I've heard. So you can take very, very good HD quality, if not better, the iPhone's going to take really clean pictures with very, very good color. They always have. Even the early ones were very, very surprising. Um, and the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 also has some pretty cool stuff in it. Um, that's not. It's a 3.7 megapixel on the front and then a 16 megapixel on the back. So you have plenty of detail to take very, very good, high-quality photographs in either of these phones that you could blow up into a poster if you want to with unpixelated quality. Um, so that being said, the only difference here is, and this is the important thing, uh, is the memory. You're taking these pictures and videos. Where are you going to store this stuff? Now, if you get a typical 16 gigabyte iPhone, uh, I'm hearing that a large amount of that, even up to six, seven, maybe even eight gigabytes of that is your operating system and apps, leaving you with only half of that, about eight gigabytes to store photographs and videos. Now, photographs, uh, well, actually, if you're taking them high quality, that can fill up quite quickly. Now, the problem with the iPhone is there's no option for external storage. With the Samsung models, the Galaxy, uh, the Galaxy Note 3, 4, and also the Galaxy, just the regular S3, 4, and 5, all have a slot for an SD card where you can put your own SD card in and double or even triple or quadruple the amount of storage you have. Everything I store on my Samsung Galaxy Note 3, as far as pictures and videos, goes to a micro SD card. Now... There's a couple of reasons I do that. Number one, I can take it out and replace it and keep the original card as a backup. Number two, if I run out of space, I don't have to go sync it with a computer or some cloud device and pay a fortune for that. 
and throw my pictures somewhere on the Internet where I don't know who's going to get to them. I mean, Sony got hacked. Apple got hacked. People get hacked. So if there's stuff out there you don't want people to see, which I don't care, I'd show you everything. Now, some people have stuff out there, personal pictures of their family or maybe some uh, confidential stuff they do in their business, some product designers, engineers, whatnot, who may not want those pictures on the Internet. If somebody picks them up, they fall into the wrong hands. You could end up in some legal trouble or uh, copyright or trademark infringements. So there's some people who have reasons they don't want their stuff up on the cloud. So if you're that type of person that just takes a lot of pictures and you don't want to have to worry about conserving and deleting things and you need storage, then you're probably going to want to go with the Samsung Galaxy or any of the other uh, Android phones that offers external micro SD support. And again, this is just, uh, in my opinion, it's a big oversight on Apple's part, why they didn't include that. It's not difficult to throw in there. Um, Samsung has a removable back where you can actually replace the battery. That's another thing you can't do in the uh, iPhone. Once the battery's bad, it's done. You have to take it to a professional service center or send it back to Apple and cost a fortune to replace the battery. With the Samsung, you can buy one online, pop the back off, swap the battery, swap the SD card, and you're back in business in a couple of minutes. So that's why I personally, my choice, my favorite phone is the, the Android, the Galaxy Note, because of the storage, because of the battery and the flexibility in that way. Functionally, they both do the same things. Of course, Apple runs its own iOS, and Samsung runs a spiffied-up version, their own proprietary version of the Android operating system. Basically, they still text, they still make phone calls, you can still send and receive emails to anyone in the world, and you can run thousands, hundreds of thousands of apps and similar apps on the same, run the same apps on the iPhone as you can on the Android devices, is what I'm trying to say here. Take pictures, take movies, basically you do the same thing on both of these devices. Um, I guess the big question is, is it having an Apple on the back of your device more important than having that storage flexibility? And for a lot of people, surprisingly, they make a very strange decision. Now, the other thing, too, there's a lot of stuff out there about the iPhone bending, especially the bigger one. So you may have to be a little careful because it is so thin and made of aluminum. Well, we've come out with iPhone 6 pants, where actually you have very long pants, so you're not shoving it in a tight little pocket and sitting on it. So that's iPhone6pants.com. It actually started as a joke, but we're getting quite a few orders through our, our Amazon affiliate account. So if you do go with the iPhone, get yourself some pants or a, a good solid case that it can accommodate it. I don't know why anybody would carry a smartphone. It's quite a big investment to carry without a protective case. I have cases on my stuff, so uh, you probably want to do a case on any smartphone you choose. But the big difference is storage. So make sure that you um, consider that. If you're a, a, a shutter bug and you take a lot of pictures, a lot of video, then you're definitely going to want the Android device with the external storage. Um, please subscribe and like our videos. A lot of information on our website at computercareclinic.com. My name is Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.